going to see things like that come close here. We don't have the aura, but we do have the boat. So there's a lot of things to delay and, and reduce the damage. We'll see how hard that does make it for Gaming Gladiators to make some of the moves that they are again going to want to do with their, you know, there's sort of two playmakers here, the, the Storm the and the Pangolier. Yeah, one thing I'm worried about is having Io plus Vengeful Spirit. Like these two heroes, if they're shut down, it's very hard to make like some kind of a place. You do have a Storm, you do have Pango, so like your two supports are not, uh, you know, gonna be the one initiating into a fight. Uh, sometimes it is a struggle. OG decided to swap things a little bit more. They will have Kunkka plus Lich on the side lane and we'll have Temple Assassin on the mid lane. Pangolier, he's not a strong laner. He does get shut down on the off lane uh, quite a bit, uh, like we've seen in Boom, uh, not the player Boom, but the team Boom. They do love to pick up the hero. First phase, and they do play it on the off lane. Uh, he does struggle, but he does deliver a bit later on. Right, top lane. I guess sort of a, a similar dynamic, really, to what we had last time round. And Mars going to be on this hero that will be very hard for gaming gladiators to really go up on. And the Tiger. They will still have to be careful against being run down by a stun and a few. Clicks from the Wraith King, for the most part, should be able to play to the edge of the lane and continue to poke at Duracho, try and slow down his farm. A bit of a different game, I would say. Uh, I, I don't think Duracho is going to be pressured too much. Like, the skill threat is there, having a Dragon Tail plus the Bushwhack, a lot of time disabled. Taiga misses a Bushwhack. Very interesting, like he was just sitting on top of the tree, almost didn't move. Maybe he thought the uh, Celery will move, but Taiga was on point. Oh. On Hoodwink previous game, very active early on. I don't think he missed a single Sharpshooter. They did have enough lockdown for it, but still uh, felt really good to have Hoodwink. Like Hoodwink Kalich, uh, very two supports that are very easily killed, but they do provide you with a ton of damage. And we can see what I talked about. This Pangolier does struggling a little bit. And if this that Torrent hits Ace, he's probably dead. Tohu's uh, gonna die. So, not flame, a lot of kill threat here. We haven't seen too much of a safe lane conquer recently, but I, I think going for build like uh, armor with the boots of travel allows you to play extremely fast, stays on top of the net worth. I'm a big fan of it, and then get a BKB later on. They don't have like the least to go through magic community, so you're gonna be really fine. Um, we see top plan, as you say, try to poke into Duracho, but. Doesn't care too much at all about it. Over in the mid lane, boom. Slight lead at the moment against BZM. As expected, Storm Spirit uh, deals decently against Templar Assassin, burns two refraction charges whenever he has overload attack on. Top lane, Amar dropping a stun on him. And uh, they do the same thing. They cut down all, the, all these trees to reduce how much Hoodwink can do. Same thing they did in game number one, but the trees grow every three minutes. Uh, and before it was either five or six, so that's a bit of a nerf to like Hoodwink, Dream Protector type heroes. Mage Prophet as well to a certain extent. On bottom, Pango. Decent amount of CS. I thought he's gonna have less. Yeah, we only... Casualty down here at the moment being that of Tofu. I'm not He's just been able to keep it safe. Me should be able to get the, the pull off here, but Yuragi, once he's been left in lane, will take quite a beating here from Tofu and Ace. It'll be fine though, Misha does still have a salve to pass over. And now he has Helm of Iron Will, so the regeneration and extra armor. Radiant it's gonna be great. Misha, a bit low on mana. They spend Mid. a lot. Boom. Maze. Gonna get taken down there, BZM. The help of Tiger. Be able to force Boom out the lane. Despite the best efforts from Celery trying to come in and, and keep him healed up. Can't save him. Love the tips. He tips him first, like a good rotation, bro. Yeah, then he thinks, you know, because Hoodwink does struggle against these spirit heroes. Hoodwink has a hero who just, you know, dies a lot of the times because uh, uh, it's his. Arch Nemesis pretty much, bottom lane, Torrent misses, I believe. Uh, Tidebringer, still a lot of harassment. Like, we right, can see them eight. playing aggressive, but the problem in this lane is, like, you need to bring a lot of region. Oh, look Ooh, who's in. Bushwhack. Tiger, he's making the moves already this game pretty quickly. Setting up kills in the mid, setting up kills in the bottom. Tiger's getting active. 
And they understand the top lane. It's pretty similar to when Amar plays a Timbersaw. Taiga does move early on. And th there's just not enough kill. Like skeletons, they don't deal enough damage. You have Breathe Fire, you have two points in the Dragon Blood. Io doesn't provide you with the damage, so there's no kill threat, which allows Taiga to move around the map freely. And now he's standing efficiency from OG. Like they see, mid laner stacks the camp for himself, Taiga stacks the camp for himself, also getting some XP on a mid lane while BZM is farming the small camp. Making sure to leave nothing out these early lanes. See back in the mid, boom. He'll be hitting sticks off these creeps, so a lot harder to make moves upon. Yeah. And on the bottom lane, we see this discrepancy between off laner and the safe lane. Like, they are really afraid. Kunka just hit level 5, so Tidebringer is a 7 second cooldown ability. Every single time Pango gets close, he gets harassed. So they need to bring extra. I think one way to play this lane, I might be wrong, but from what I've seen when uh, Boom plays it, they do go for Vanguard first item. Just like straight up Ring of Health to have that sustain in the lane. Maybe that would have been a better approach. Because right now, like, Pango can't get close. Pango's just straight up dead. Especially when Kunkal hits level 6. So Lich needs to stay away a little bit from the XP. Vengeful Spirit also trying to make a rotation. Not the best hero to rotate with. A bit sluggish. See the tree on a mid lane. Five heroes mid. Pretty standard stuff. Five, six minutes into the game. Oh, boom. Right, he's gonna try and go for Tiger. TPs are coming in though, and boom, he's been caught by the bushwhack. Boom, he's gotta get out. Some aggressive moves there. It's just a bit of a poke trying to force out some reactions from OG. And uh, they, they will be successful. Yeah, OG get a couple of TPs coming in in response. Maybe if Misha had one point in center state gaze just to pull him and uh, get some of his mana out, uh, that would have been a kill and it would be pretty big. And on the bottom lane, we see AC is really struggling. It's all about collecting that XP pretty much. If you look at the CS chart, Raiden has 34 and then the second hero below him has 4 CS. <laughs> There's no in between. There isn't, yeah. yeah there's the support in the bottom not hitting the creeps. So, Fook. He's going to be fine here. Tiger, not able to find anything to, to catch him with the bushwhack against. See Celery and Boom head over him. Ready to clear these stacks up. Some nice, juicy stacks here for the Storm Spirit. And that will, you know, for now, keep Boom just a little bit ahead of BZM's spot. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Boom is getting a lot from these stacks. OG is also a team that loves to invade enemy stacks, so, you know, there's there was a possibility of oh, these Ogre Bruisers. <laughs> they, they're tough to kill, and, you know, they surprise you with that long duration stun, and uh, you could possibly die. Yeah, bottom lane for now has been sort of left completely ace. He's, he's looked over towards the mid to try and get some farm. Doesn't want to have to deal with turning up against Yuragi. He has managed to get his six in the mid lane. If they want to kill Yuragi, they need to bring Star Spirit, Venge plus Pangolier to be able to lock him down. If on a mid lane, this is aggressive. I mean, that was... I mean, aggressive is probably putting it lightly. I mean, he, he just, he just, just went, went for it. <laughs> I mean, they, he they... went for it. I mean, I guess he <laughs> completely underestimated Tiger being able to lock him down with the bushwhack from the trees. I mean, they, they've, they've tried that move once before. OG was prepared. They didn't get anything. They try it again. Now OG's even more prepared, and they get both of the kills. Oh, Torrent misses. Like, that was a tough kill to get. Oh. There was... <sighs> A little bit of disarm, which is uh, only 2.5 seconds, so not the greatest. Boom is back in it. But he gets caught by the bushwhack again. They've got the sinister gaze, if they've got the damage, they've got an X mark trampling him back, but he has the ball lightning. Oh my god. <laughs> he nearly gets <laughs> back down as second time. I mean, Tiger, Ti Tiger's got Boom's number this game. <laughs> that was close. They also managed to bring down the tower. Uh, Rolling Thunder was used. They got nothing out of it. Uh, so oh, I, I think Pango's going to struggle. Like off to a really bad start. Uh, we're going to might see the same issues again where Dragonite, we'll all the three die. cores. I mean, w w was this ever going to work, Lacoste? Uh, I don't 
don't know. I, I don't think so. Uh, if DA had refraction back up on, it's just difficult. And is it, because for gaming gladiators from their perspective, why do you feel that they feel the need to, to really try and force those sort of aggressive plays? Like, get them just... into the game. Like, yeah. use his mana pool. He has 900 mana pool. Oh, now they're good at Hushwax. Tiger, he's just having fun with them. He really is having a good one here, Tiger. So yeah, maybe they thought, you know, Star Threat, we need to use him. Ayo will play with the Star Threat. Like, we need to get stuff done. Get at least one kill on the board. Because right now, seeing that zero is kind of demoralizing. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely going to feel a bit slow of a start here for gaming gladiators. And, and it's definitely felt as well in the gold that's building up. It's already a you know, 3k lead here, 10 minutes in. OG with quite a comfortable edge coming out of these lanes. Did you see a game lately where one team didn't have a kill? That that doesn't happen, right? Like, they always have... I feel like we've had a kill. game that came close to that, but yeah, I, I don't think we've had a game in a long time that's ended up with zero kills. There's there a lot of those games. There's always one. There's always like 22 and 3. Yeah. People love to see it. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, just like, there's always a kill on the board. Viraccio is uh, farming okay-ish, nothing too spectacular, has armlet done, going into phase boots next, and that's so pretty standard build. One Raid King, Amar just picked up his item, that is a full blink dagger, so they will have one way to initiate a fight. Lich is level 6, and we got him then. Oh, but Misha very, very quick with the response, you don't still die. See if we can get more out of this. It's gonna look over towards Amar. Tiger, he's got the ult going, turns over towards the IO as 3ZM will be able to run him down, finish up the kill on Celery. Still going in for Amar, they do get it. But BZM, jumping with the flow, boom, low on the mana, Tiger. He's got the stun on Duraccio. I bet from Celery. He still wants to go, maybe Duraccio leads him with the race five line, boom. He's going in past the tier one. Here's the aggression that Gaming Gladiators were trying to execute in the mid. This time round, it pays off on top laners. Boom, he gets the kills that he was looking for. Radiance top tower is under attack. Oh, good combination, bottom. They didn't allow him to use the roll. Let's see, one more hit. Oh. Good trick. Boom. I mean, he, he's on a roll now. Boom's found that momentum that he was hunting for in the mid. From the moves up top, comes down bottom. He's starting to get those kills, and he's getting away with this aggression now. He's hit this sort of sweet spot where him and Io can be very consistent Radiance with these moves with that constant attack. mana that he's getting. That's what they needed. Kunka, like, TP'd five seconds before the fight started, so he was not able to join. And this time around, he didn't go for the boots of travel build on safe lane Kunka, did go for the phase boots. I think uh, he was thinking about, you know, we, I need more armor. I'm playing in the Pangos minus armor, Vengeful Spirit, and also right click from Raid King. So just having an extra early armor is going to help me out. But uh, he can't be as active. Let's see, boom, can he dodge this one? Oh, he might not. he's, he's not going to be able to. They, they, they catch him. I mean, so for all the booms that the moves the boom was starting to make, he sticks around in the jungle a little too long. And there, they've got the catch. Also going for a different item build this time around, Witchblade on Storm Sprint. Not your standard Dyer's item build, but good attack. against Refraction on Templar Assassin. And it gives them a little bit more momentum, I would say. Just overtime damage works nicely. Dyer's Tofu, he knows what this game is about. Try to get that Aghanim Scepter not invested. That means like you're... You as a position four don't have much to offer in these fights because you're going for a very greedy build. Definitely looking out to find the Philosopher's Stone. It does help quite a lot. I'll see OG. I want to try and push for the tier one. The Ma will have the, the ult back up in a second. Tofu is coming in with the swap, making sure that Ace is at no risk of the Ma being able to turn back in. Follow up that bushwhack with a dragon tail. Big timing for OG is going to be BKB on Kunkka and also Deso on Templar Assassin. Then way they can threaten Roshan. For now, go playing pretty much the farm game. Uh, Dragon Knight will have Blink plus the Shard exactly 15 minutes in. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'll be able to take this down, not even having to commit the ult. Yeah. They're getting the space. 
easy tower for OG. They can continue to be able to hold on to all three of theirs right now. That's where the plan is here from Gaming Gladiators. They've grouped up around the mid lane. Which play complete and going in for Estange next. Might need to swap things around. If he dies one time, he's probably gonna go for BKB. Yeah. He's just not gonna feel safe coming into these fights. It, it really depends. Like your item build changes as the game progresses. Like you get a kill, you get the ball rolling, you get, uh, I don't know, Aegis. It, it changes things quite a lot. This is a big kill because Celery is gonna be dead for a while. He bought back in the previous fight. 55 seconds. Oh, that is a long time and up top of. Second support, life lost there on Gaming Gladiators of Tofu. I think, I think they have enough damage to go Roche, because there is a Deso on Templar Assassin, and without Ayo, I'm not sure if they have enough. He wants to try and get a kill. He's gonna go for Tiger, and he will get it. He's just got the back of a vase. So maybe even having the chance to look for Amar as well. Oji's trying to get over to help out. Boom, he's low on the matter. But the disarm, it is there from Ace. Boom, it's level one. He's only. gonna keep running, and BZM with the damage to this death, so he's bringing Boom down. Boom will fall. Dracho is looking towards Mishi, but Mishi's gonna be able to step out of this one. BZM, who's, he, who's he gonna look towards next? He's, he's got his eyes on Ace. Next level swashbuckle in a, in a moment. Dracho's trying to chase down Misha. Link forward, but the disarm oh, the is there arm. again. This is gonna be very difficult to, to deal with. Like once you get level 20 on Templar Assassin, it's gonna be their melt to dispel Templar Assassin as a hero just uh, gets levels uh, too quickly. OG, they lose Dragonite, they lose Lich, but once again, they kill Boom. Boom, four dead, 16 minutes in. Very uncharacteristic, I would say. Let's see what he can set up here. They're gonna have to take him down twice. Let's see if they can do that. Good on, they toggling. Duraccio is going to protect that first life for, for uh, yeah, in fact, completely. He's going to be able to get out all. He's going to have to relocate in. Boom. He's, he's online. He's going to be brought over, but gets taken out. Boom, committing heavily to try and burn through Yuragi, but Yuragi's got the BKB. As Yuragi's fine, both Boom and Celery dying off the back of that relocate attempt. I mean, they came in to try and make a move. Honestly, with the armlet toggling of Duraccio, I think Duraccio was fine. He was going to be able to walk away. But Gaming Gladiators, they make the call to try and get a fight out of that, and it ends terribly for them. They lose two more heroes, and they get nothing. I think Boom wants to do a bit uh, too much. He's in a spot where it feels like he needs to get back into the game, but overextends. They also need Pango. Like, they need to be able to bring uh, one extra hero to these fights, because they're playing from behind. Die, Again, scared. like, the heroes are very hard to kill. It was a good armor toggle from Duraccio, yep. not losing his reincarnation. I believe that's a full Deso coming out to him. So, yeah, we'll see the Roche attempt from OG. We'll see Ace coming with the Rolling Thunder, but it is at the beginning of the Roche attempt. That's their big team fight ulti. Yeah, it's gone now. So, if anything, OG's going to feel a bit more confident on sticking around. Stretch up. It's going to step forward. Roji will jump back over him, and they'll pretty quickly get through that first life of the Raid King. Both is available. Dracho. See where he looks to make moves for. He has got Tofu ready to swap him out if he's in trouble. Ace has been spotted hiding behind the trees. They'll be able to catch him with the X-Mark Tower combo. That's Ace gone. Jump up to the high ground of Mars immediately on top of Tofu. That's Roche. That, that's free Roche for them. Without Bango, without the Vengeful Courage. Oh, they don't have enough. They even get Duraccio. He just lays down a fireball and Duraccio burns. <laughs> I've never seen I mean, Amar happier. He's always in the mood, in the zone, and uh, also a lot of light this time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those early games. I mean, yeah, honestly, you forget just sort of how incredible the rate, the cast range is on Fireball. <laughs> it just lays it down across the screen and uh, an easy kill. And that's that's Roshan, Aegis into the hands of BZM. Honestly, this this game, it, it's Dyer's looking to get close to how difficult of a position Gaming Gladiators found themselves rather soon yeah. in game one. Also a bit of a different itemization on Templar Assassin. Uh, a lot of them get the Dragon Lens, but this early blink purchase did allow him to jump on the Storm Spirit, yep. the, just close the gap, uh, play a bit more aggressive. If you didn't have that, I feel like Boom would have few, maybe even three deaths less. Now a very tough time here for Gladiators trying to do something against OG whilst Aegis is in the hands of BZM. And whilst they don't quite have those BKBs on Duraccio, uh, BKB is not going to have much success in a team fight. 
But the BKBs are up. Gaming Gladiators, they have a really tough time going for the kills. We're gonna see the replay. Uh -huh. Tango just doesn't I mean, have enough to protect himself. BZM was pushing the tower on his own back in action here. So if they can go for a second round, he's gonna have to back up. Great turn on a boat. Down on the three of them. Oh my goodness. OG, they land the combo. That's two of them gone celery. They'll take one of them out, but he's gonna get dragged back by the X mark. He'll also die. Oh, what a beautiful execution. Top tier. It looked like it's gonna be a disaster, you know. They're gonna kill him one more time, but the torrent into Bushwhack and boat on three people. Uh, I, I think I've seen like only similar performances from Sox as Hoodwink. Tiger yeah. really on point with the hero right now. No, he's, he's having a beautiful one. He's having a great series this game. Yeah, 4 1 and 11. Yeah, the, the, the bushwhacks just catching them completely by surprise every single time. Now, next fight, BZM. He's going to have the BKB. 20 to 8. 9k lead, OG looking on oh, absolute fire today here in this series so far. What are these bushwhacks, man? It's just like... I mean, always catch them on the edge, you know, <laughs> exactly. he knows exactly where to reach for them and on the edge of the AoE of the, the net landing. The tiger's got the, the catch down perfectly. There we go, an attempt in the mid. So they can keep this CA locked down. There's going to be a boat coming, giving them protection, and BZM's going to be fine. In fact, he doesn't take any damage at all. As he's ready to fight, that's the first life of Duraccio taken away. They'll look to run him down. Tiger with the push back, holding back Tofu. As Ace will try and jump back in with the force poker, but Amar, he's got his own ready to close in over towards Ace. Ace is going to go down. BZM has the damage. So will Tofu. Four dead on gaming gladiators. It's been a rough series, series here for the Gladiators, Lacoste. They've had, they've had some great games, some great showings, but today, I mean, OG, they, they're just completely outclassing them. Yeah, it seems like they were well prepared for this one. Celery, bottom lane. Yeah, he looks pretty dead. No boots of speed. Uh, not much movement speed. Oh, he'll find him. He will indeed. Celery. Just a casual chain frost on top of Io. Why not? Doesn't even bounce. Uh, Misha did pick up... Uh, his shard, he really loves the shard. We can call him Me Shard when, he, when he's playing that lit. Yeah, th this game feels uh, yeah. really over. 13 minutes, uh, 13 K gold lead, 21 minutes into the game. It's yeah. just like, doesn't feel that they have enough. Like they, once again, don't have what it takes to deal with the three cores, the three BKB timings. Uh, Crystalis out for BZM for the next fight. So he's gonna have even more damage. Our observer's a big fan of Jin Q. I just don't know how's this in in the game. Like having people's faces <laughs> in official matches, you know, it's like, oh, here's a random face. Oh. What's the cooldown on it? I think it's pretty it's pretty long. I'm gonna people say it's like spend. 40 seconds or something. 40 seconds only. I think. I think you're right. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. The mid lane. Sorry, Observer, if we can catch this. This is fine. The classic meme where Lich we and Hoodwink are standing right now. If we can move the camera, it's going to expire. Mid lane, a bit down, down, Radiant's down, down. Yeah, attack. there we go. This is fine. While everything is on fire, this is how gaming gladiators pretty much feel right now. I think it is, yeah. Uh... Oh. They get a kill. I mean, she probably doesn't, doesn't mind too much. It's just the supports we did see in the last game. It got to the point where Gaming Gladiators is they could kill the supports. They couldn't get those cores. Jeez. Let's see. Tier 1 tower is still available. Misha doesn't have a buyback. Needs 50 gold. But he's out in 10 seconds anyway. Here we go. Nice. Gonna lead things in. Big Rolling Thunder straight down the middle. The out again. It's a three-man torrent into the boat. Huge combos once more from OG, leaving Gaming Gladiators no chance in these team fights. They may have been the ones to start it, but OG, they're certainly going to be the ones to finish it here. As everybody's taken down, we we might see the cheese yeah, drop soon. The cost. cheese drop uh, exactly like this is the second time they go in. I, I mean, they need to be on top of the heroes. Like, they need to be able to... Be, like, Storm, he wants to <laughs> drop on top of someone. Same th yeah. goes for Pango and Raid King. So, there's a reason why these Torrents and both hit on multiple people. They will go for a finish. Like, the, I'm not sure if they can, like, finish the game straight off. I think they might be able to. I mean, I, 
gliders, they do have one more fight. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what they've got in them. As yeah, OG. I mean, yeah, yeah. You you, th you thought they won the first game fast. They're on track to to doing this second one even quicker at the moment. Here I am. Now we can see MR. Good item build. A couple of those shadow amulets ready to go. Yeah, what happened to those mantles? Is it, was that sort of it's not bait? cool anymore. Oh, no, no, not no. Cool anymore. He was doing yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> people started to copy it, yeah. and uh, yeah, he just doesn't like it anymore. But a lot of people do this in pubs. These shadow amulet. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think Chappie was the pioneer of it. Yeah. I mean, nobody's awesome. seen Chappie for a while. Yeah, because he he That's bought so many. You can't, you can't see him. <laughs> shadow I'm making myself out of existence. <laughs> uh, shadow, it's a powerful item. Breaking does have a blank dagger, so he's going to be able to close the gap. But uh, can he blink out? No, it's oh. not ready yet. He's going to be in trouble here, Duracho. They're coming in with the buyback. They're going to do everything to try and save this race key if they want to have a chance in gaming gladiators. Duracho will be swapped to the side. The fireball and the breathe ball there take him out. And this should be the last moment here for gaming gladiators. They're crumbling yet again. OG completely overrunning them. Amar diving up towards the tier fours, ready to chase Ace down. And there it is. GG here, 25 minutes in. OG on absolute fire today. This series, they made it look like a walk in the park. And yeah. a lot of it was down to just a great...